Hey, this is Jesse Miller from Andy from Headcount. How you doing? I'm doing good, man. So what you're seeing now, obviously very interesting political time. Like, what? I mean, what's your take right now? I, I think a really big issue now is is gerrymandering, and it's it's really gotten it gets a little bit into the weeds, but with, there's there's just so many districts where it's not it's not competitive, and when when you look at the actual distribution of of America, it's pretty split 50-50 Republicans, Democrats. But if you look at the amount of power represented by people in office, I think it's something like 65% Republican. They've really been able to leverage that, that and gerrymander districts to take a lot of control at the state level. And and that to me is it's kind of a sign of of the basic tenets of democracy kind of going off the rails. Where do you think the fight is? Where do you think, what, what is the message right now? And what, what can, resonates with you? And what do you think will resonate with the fans? I mean, I, the one thing I always say is whatever your views are, I think it's important to, to participate because we have a huge block of young people who are just not even voting. And if, and I feel like, I mean, I, I hear people making arguments for why they don't want to participate, but I feel like that's a very simple way to exercise our power. And all it takes is getting out to, making sure you know when the elections are and getting out to them on, on those days. So I think that's a good place to start. What's, what's happening in your community? Well, yeah, in Philadelphia especially, you know, it's obviously, a very strong liberal pocket and then you have the rest of Pennsylvania which is the complete opposite so um, on statewide it's always a little bit of a battle between what Philly wants and, and what the rest of the state wants locally yeah there's a lot of issues Philly is a very has has some of the very poorest neighborhoods for a large city in the country and the schools have no money so there's there's a lot of issues and a lot of people are moving in the, into the city. It's it's a city that's definitely on the rise, but there's a lot of problems. The, obviously, the opioid epidemic has been really bad there for a long time, so that's something people are trying to put out ideas for, like safe injection sites is one idea that's up right now. So I it really, I think just anything could, could help. I, I live near a lot of that, and you know, it's that, for addicts, that is not a good life, and it's it's something we should be working to help. What Lotus song best represents the state of the world right now? <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I I don't think we write political songs or or uh, I think we try to represent our world in a slightly more abstract way. So I don't have a. What well, about no, like from a feeling standpoint? A feeling standpoint. Well, when you come out at a festival, and I think no matter what is going on outside, it's very much a celebration. So I think a track like Spiritualized is a good wrap up or Flower Sermon. And that's kind of this, it's a dance party, but hopefully you're feeling something when you're listening to it. Um, so I'm gonna go with one of those. Very grateful that Lotus has always made, made us part of your family. Great, thanks a lot, Andy.